So we're going to look at five figure summaries now. Now, a five figure summary is a set of five numbers, and those five numbers uh, give us some information about a distribution of data. So we've got the highest number, the lowest number, the median, which is the middle number, the number which halves the list, and we refer to that as Q2. The upper quartile, so that's the median of the upper half of our list of numbers, that's Q3, and the lower quartile, which is the median of the lower half of the distribution of numbers, and that's Q1. Now remember, to find the median, you must put the numbers in order from lowest to highest first. If they're not in ascending order, then you are not going to get accurate information from your distribution set. So the divide by four rule is going to help us work out which numbers are going to be in our quartiles. So the first thing we have to do is count how many numbers we have in our distribution and the number of values, we're going to divide that by four. The whole number is the number of values in each quarter and the remainder is the number of extra values that we're going to have to consider. So let's have a look at an example. We're going to make a five figure summary of the following distribution and we've got two, four, five, five, six, seven, 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 eight, and nine, ten, which gives us 11 numbers. So 11 divided by four gives us two, remainder three. So that means that we're going to have two values in each of our quarters, and we're going to have three extra values to be considered. Now, first thing we do is check to make sure that our numbers are in ascending order, and in this example they are. So I can instantly identify my lowest number, which is 2, and my highest number, which is 10. Then I want to find the median, the middle number. And the middle number in my list is this 7 in the middle here, and that's my Q2. And then I'm going to find the middle of the lower quartile, so that's going to be the 5, and so that's my Q1. And you can see I've got two numbers in the first quarter, the two and the four, and two numbers in the second quarter, the five and the six. And then I'm going to work out what Q3 is by working out my upper quartile, and that's going to be the eight in the middle. And you can see in the third quarter, I've got two sevens, and in the final quarter, I've got a nine and a ten. So I'm going to label that with Q3. So I want to make a five bigger summary, so I need to put it in the order lowest, which is two, Q1, which is 5, Q2, which is 7, Q3, which is 8, and the highest number, which is 10. So let's look at another example. This time we want to make a five-figure summary of the following distribution containing the numbers 67, 54, 71, 48, 78, 58, 51, 54, 73, and 64. So I've got 10 numbers this time, but they're not in ascending order. So the first thing I need to do is put them in ascending order. So I've got 48 is my lowest number, and I'm going to mark them off to make sure that I don't miss any out. I've got 51. I've got two 54s. Then I've got a 58, a 64, a 67, 71, 73, and finally a 78. And I've lined them up with my distribution to make sure that I haven't missed any values out. And you might just want to count them to double check that you've still got 10 numbers. So 10 numbers divided by four means that I've got two values per quarter, but this time I've only got a remainder of two. So that means that one of my quartiles the median I'm going to have to do an extra calculation for. But the first thing I want to do is mark on my highest number and my lowest number. So my lowest number is 48 and my highest number is 78. Now, the median's in the middle and the middle number in a set of 10 numbers is between the fifth and the sixth numbers, which is in here between 58 and 64. But you can see I'm going to have to work out the mean of those two numbers by adding them together and dividing by 2. So 58 plus 64 gives me 122 and I'm dividing that by 2 so my Q2 or my median is 61. Now 
I'm going to work out the middle value of my lower quartile. And you can see there that it holds true. I've got two numbers in the first quarter and two numbers in the second quarter. So that's my Q1 is 54. And then I'm going to work out the middle number of the upper quartile. And that is going to be the 71. And again, I've got two numbers, 64 and 67 in my third quarter and two numbers, 73 and 78 in my final quarter. And then I need to write down in the correct order my lowest number, which is 48, my Q1, which is 54, my Q2, which is 61, my Q3, which is 71, and my highest number, which is 78. Now, box plots are used to illustrate a five-figure summary. And you can see on this example here, as long as we've got a suitable scale across the bottom, we can then draw on our quartiles and our lowest and highest numbers. It's sometimes referred to as a box and whisker plot because you can see there's a box and then we have some whiskers coming off to our lowest and highest values. So the box has Q1 and Q3 at its boundaries and then we draw a line at some point inside the box to mark on our median and then the whiskers come out to our lowest value at the left hand side and our highest value at the right hand side. So let's make a box plot for our previous example. So the first thing we're going to draw on is our box. So remember, the boundaries are at Q1, so that's 54, and Q3, 71. So we're going to move this box over here to 54 at one end and 71 at the other end. Now I want to mark on my median. So my median was at 61. So I'm going to get one of these straight lines. Or I'm going to draw it because it's not working. And I'm going to draw a straight line at 61 on my suitable scale. Then I want to draw on the lines at my highest and lowest numbers. So my lowest number was at 48. So on my scale, that would be approximately there. And my highest number would be at 78. On my scale, that would be approximately there. So anybody could look at that scale and at that box plot and extract the information without you having to necessarily annotate it. But if we wanted to annotate it with the numbers, we could write in our values of 48, we've got 54, we've got 61, we've got 71, and we've got 78 